Hello everyone, Ken here, back with some more interesting data science content for you. Today I'm talking about what I think is the most overlooked attribute by data science candidates. So when people are coming in to interview, they really focus on their technical skills, they focus on coding languages, they focus on different algorithms that they know, different frameworks, etc. And that isn't always the most critical, important thing. There's a there's one very specific thing that I think can set you apart from the crowd, and that is subject area expertise. And subject area expertise can come in two areas. So the first is in the industry or a specific niche of the industry. Let's say I have been doing data science or a lot of projects on real estate, and you're looking at you know, uh, evaluating house prices. And you've done that for a long time and you've mastered that skill. If you were to go to Zillow and apply, for example, and you have that background, probably really help your chances. The other area of subject expertise, subject area expertise that, that is relevant is with specific types of algorithms. So let's say I've been working in image recognition and all of my projects that I've been doing uh, or in the industry uh, in, my, in my past role if I was to go into a new company and could sell my value in that specific skill set and role, I, I dramatically increase my chances of getting a job there. And, you know, some people believe that subject area expertise could be really difficult to, to build and define. So, you know, you can say, oh, I've never worked in real estate. I've never worked in sports. I haven't worked in any of these areas. But it's a lot easier to build up this skill than you might think. All it takes is working on projects within that industry. And if you can gather your own data, you mean, I mean, of course you can get it from Kaggle, you can get it from all these other places. But if you can gather your own data into it, that adds to your value as well. These people are constantly looking, these companies are constantly looking for new data sources. And that's just icing on the cake if you can help aggregate that data. So my recommendation is to focus on the subject area expertise that you can provide to a certain organization or to figure out how you can acquire skills in a subject area when you're applying for a new job. Very frequently, if, I'm ex if I were extremely passionate about a role or a position and I had a little free time on my hands, I would do a project right before going into the interview um, and be able to share my findings in the field of the employer. I think that that is one of the best things that you can do to really open eyes, to get people to know that you're interested in the position, in the industry, and in the type of work that you'd be doing. I, I really can't recommend anything really higher than that uh, to, to differentiate yourself in the pack. And you know, if you're really serious about getting a, a new position, a new job, you should really hit that like button and also subscribe because I have a lot of really interesting content like this that can help you learn more about data science and also potentially help you find the opportunity that you really want in the field. With that being said, go out and build that expertise. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.